Hey Leo, happy Friday. We're going to look at your day ahead for February 9th. See what's going on around you guys. What you need to know for your highest good. So remember that the energies can be reversed. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. All right, Leo, please, for Friday. It is also the new moon today. So we're going to grab a couple of moon cards to see what you need to know during this moon cycle. But perfect time to start manifesting as well or continue. All right, you got the three of cups crossed by the king of cups and then with the king of swords. Uh, water energy, air energy. Let's just see where this is going. We got the king of cups and the king of swords and the three of cups. So, you know, somebody could want to hang out. Let's just see what's going on. You got the Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Tower. Uh, this almost looks like a pretty difficult situation, kind of alleviating. You could have a couple of people around. You got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel. Things are about to change very quickly, and it looks like after some type of difficult time. With the Ten of Wands and the Tower, I mean, there could have been a falling out. It could have just been, you know, kind of a rough patch there. But you got this energy here is looking like uh, it could be an Aquarius, but it's, it's pretty, pretty hopeful there. Pretty confident as well. And then we got the King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to change pretty damn quickly. It looks like there's a, actually an unexpected change coming after a change, if that makes sense. Because we already started with the tower. So, I mean, that that's a change in itself. But then you got the wheel and the moon here. The temperance, the four of swords. After that, there's a lot of healing type energy. Um, especially after that ten of wands and tower, it, it will be a nice turnaround. It can just be somebody who's been working a lot. Um, possibly, like, around others or dealing with others. And then there's this strong kind of healing, relaxation time. Taking a, a break type energy. Finding some much needed like chill time, downtime. You definitely could have others around you today. Alright, so Leo for this moon cycle. What does Leo need to know, please? For the new moon on Aquarius. You got Moon and Scorpio. Negative attitudes and arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energy into positive physical activities like decorating, gardening, you could dance, do some yoga. You got Waning Moon. Let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is the time for casting away emotions that are no longer serving you. And you got double healing here for the outcome. So you got kind of that in line for it to happen. Working on working in your favor. All right, Leo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.